Good afternoon. I was diagnosed with relapsing re-emitting MS in January of 2013. My symptoms started with tingling and numbness in the hands and feet, migraine headaches in 2009 of April. Visits to the doctors concluded that job stress related migraines were all it was. My high tolerance for pain accepted the results and I went on with life. This was an extremely poor decision on my part. My symptoms remained constant but non-progressive until November of 2011. In attempting to kick a soccer ball, I lost my balance and I fell. I wrote it off as being out of shape and clumsy. I fall from a treadmill and down a stairwell in early 2012 was my final wake-up call. It solidified that there was more wrong with me than normal. My quest to find out what was causing my issues and how to resolve them was started. Starting from behind and a lot of ground to catch up, I did several things. I made immediate dietary changes. Sodas, fast food, canned foods, alcohol, eliminated. Red meat, dairy, bread, pasta, reduced drastically. Chicken, fish, fresh fruits, vegetables, doubled. Went on a weight, list, weight loss and body detox regimen. I replaced impact aerobic exercises I could no longer do with swimming. I made the most of my insurance. I literally became a human pincushion. Everybody was sticking me. I looked to outside traditional medicines, acupuncturists, building my immune system and pure vitamin regimens. While I made great strides in changing my life, I was testing healthier. A progression of worse symptoms continued to happen. Severe leg back aches, leg stingers, twitching, loss grip, and more loss of balance. As it, term it was determined that MS was my cause, my instability had me falling one to two times a month. I reached my lowest point waking up immobile from the waist down on a Wednesday morning in February 2013. With my motor skills seemingly erased from my memory, a deep cloud of panic overtook me. My confidence went out the window. I had to dig down extremely deep. I was able to regain mobility later in that evening. I progressed to a penguin walk in very limited speed and distance over the next six months with the help of a walking stick and physical therapy. Hours of online research for possible relief led to stem cell therapy. After many mo months of research, doctor consultations, numer numerous conversations with people who had had stem cell therapy, heard about it, had relatives that experienced it, I sent the email to the Stem Cell Institute. After being accepted, I still had more conversations with Dr. Barnett, Cindy, asking more and more questions. They were extremely patient to everything I had. The care provided for me upon my arrival and during my stay and departure in Panama was extremely good. The facility was simple, clean, efficient, with a very helpful and friendly staff. The procedure was well explained to me and carefully administered. I was able to see results on my way back, November 3rd. I was able to walk farther and feel better. I was able to put my walking stick in the back of my car for good two weeks later. Knock on wood, I haven't fallen since October 24th of 2013. My stamina, walking speed, and stability have continued to increase. I do have momentary balance loss, and heat can still wipe me out. My MS is still with me. Do I feel Panama was the right choice? For me, absolutely. I feel the infusion of new healthy cells gave my body a huge boost to recover the majority of lost motor skills I had experienced. It also helped amplify the lifestyle changes I was already making 
to give me a faster and more positive result. These successes have given me a more positive mental state that have allowed me to heal more and more. What advice could I give you about stem cells? Research, research, research. There isn't a price you can put on due diligence when it comes to your health. Make lifestyle changes at the cellular level in your body and amplify it with stem cell therapy. In closing, I'd like to thank my wife for undying support and hours of research. I'd like to thank Dr. Reardon, Stem Cell Institute, for being at the cutting edge of healing diseases. And I'd like to thank you all for allowing me to share with you today.